Fast Life Boss. We here with another episode of the New Mexicated Smoke Session series. And tonight we got a very, 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 very exclusive guest. None other than my boy Skylar Rock. Skylar Rock, what's good, man? What's up, man? Welcome, welcome, man. We're going to get right into it, man. Go ahead and formally introduce yourself to the people that might not have heard of you, man. Hey, yo, what it is? Where's your boy Scott LaRock, a.k.a. Scott OG, smoking that OG by the OZ, for that act like y'all know me, nigga. Yes, indeed, man. If you, if you follow Scott LaRock, you need to if you don't, but if you follow him, you already know, man. You know his slogan, man. And we was talking off the cam. It's a lot of motherfucking things to get into. I'm excited about the interview. Thanks for coming in. So, man, tell us a little bit about yourself. Are you originally from New Mexico? No, I'm from South Carolina. South uh, Carolina? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. How'd you get here to New Mexico? That's a long story, bro. <laughs> <laughs> long story short, bro, like, my mama married this dude outside, my stepdad, whatever. He got a job out of Harlem or whatever, and you know what I'm saying? Ended up out here, moved to Florida, came back out here. Uh, like that was like 04 or something like that. And then um, I moved out here. I stayed, I ended up staying out here when my daddy died in 06. So I've been out here like, I'm saying, going to high school but ever since then. So, okay. So. Okay, so you've been out here for a little minute? Yeah, it's been too long, but I mean, I, I like it. I, I, I mean, I fuck with it. No saying. doubt, no doubt. And the country has been into my head. It's a different kind of country, man. It's, it definitely is country, but Southwest, it's some other type. Wild, wild West, wild West, West man. man. Yeah, so how long have you been doing music? I mean, <clears throat> I started doing music like, I started singing when I was like five or six, and then started rapping like when I was like 12, 13, so I'm saying about a minute, like, a long time. So I, I listened to some of your music. And for the viewers at home that might not be aware, you can sing and rap. Yeah. Have a beautiful music, voice. Yeah, you have a beautiful singing voice, man. Yeah, Very sure. soulful guy. Um, how did you make that transition? Well, let me back up. Not let me not let me say transition, but how do you balance the two of singing and rapping? I mean, I was a singer before I was a rapper, so I mean that that part is easy, bro. Like, but the rapping part, I mean, I started rapping because my brother started rapping, and I want to be better than my brother. So it's like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, this music is 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 easy to me, man. You know what I'm saying like, it's it's not hard. Like as far as singing, it's the same thing. You just slow it down. You know what I'm saying? It's different cadences, and it's pretty it's pretty much the same thing to me. You know what I mean, music is musical because. I got songs, you know what I'm saying, that I'm singing on, and it's all me singing. I got songs where I'm singing and rapping, you know what I'm saying, and I got songs where I'm just rapping, like, so it's really whatever, you know what I'm saying, whatever beat, whatever day, whatever I'm feeling, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's really not hard, you know what I mean? It ain't no, it's not like you gotta transition from one to the other, it's the same thing, you know what I'm saying? So Scott LaRock, who would you say were some of your early musical influences coming up? Um, it's a lot of different people because um, for the R&B side, it was more like Lauryn Hill, the Fugees, um, Boys and Men, Jagged Edge, like a lot of old school stuff. Like, and then like as far as back, like um, what's his name? Uh, Otis Redding, you know what I'm saying Marvin Gaye, like all types of stuff like that. Cause my dad like. He listened to a whole lot of, you know what I'm saying, like R&B, like as far as Frankie Beverly Mays and Earth, Wind and & Fire and, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. So, uh, like a lot of my music, you hear like the people say I got like a whole soul, I mean, that's why I like, yeah. you know what I mean, my daddy had like crates like this, bro. You know <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying, nigga feel at home, bro, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, as far as uh, the rap side, um, I say like DMX, uh, Jay Z, like the old Cash Money, like VG, the Hot Boys, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like Roe and Trey, uh, like a lot of Texas shit, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, I mean, it's just a lot of different stuff, right? Like, you 
Yeah, man. If I if I hear a good song, bro, like it don't matter if it's like pop or it's like you know what I'm saying some shit like Ariana Grande or some shit like that. If it's right. a dope song, bro, like I don't fuck with it. You know what I'm saying. Like, I mean, I listen to a lot of different shit. You know what I'm saying, and I make you know what I'm saying what I like my own. You know what I'm saying. So yeah. it's not like I'm stealing no shit. You know what I'm saying. Music recycled anyway. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, like, everything is recycled yeah, itself. But, for me. but I mean, you know what I'm saying, just making my own and just making shit dope, bro. Like, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, you definitely have a unique style. Very, you have a lot of soul in your voice, so I could definitely hear your, inf you know, different influences that make your sound very unique. You know, what I'm yeah, saying? plus I grew up in the church, man. Like, and okay, that, that's a lot of different. You know what I'm saying, like, I was in the choir at like five, six years old. Though, you know what I'm okay, saying? plus like playing drums and like you get the structure of a song, like. If you're doing a verse, you know what I'm saying, on the drums, like you play it differently than you do the chorus, you know what I'm saying, break and all that other shit. So it's like, you learn, you know what I'm saying, all that shit. And then I was in band in middle school, so it's like a lot of different, you know what I'm saying, concepts like come together and make that sound, you know what I'm saying. So. Definitely, I could hear that in your voice, in your music, the complexity of, you know, the originality. So what made you decide to become an actual artist and put out music versus a lover and a person that's just influenced. Like, what made you, you know, gave you the the, the power to make the decision, hey, I'm gonna, you know, record and, you know, release music and become an artist, like? I mean, as far as, as far as, like, just doing music, it's just other people telling me I should do music, you know what I'm saying? Just me playing around with shit and, like, just coming up with songs, you know what I'm saying, and, and lunch room, you know what I'm saying, bang on, you know what I'm saying, lunch table and shit, and just coming up with dope ass shit, just playing around, and they're like, okay, we'll just record something, and then, like, people heard my voice on tracks and shit, and then it was just like, you should do it, and then I was into it, you know what I'm saying, and then stopped doing it for whatever reason, you know what I'm saying, it's a lot of shit going on, like, life happens, you know what I'm saying, so I've been doing it for a minute, like, I've been recording since, I say, like, 13, 14, you know what I'm saying? So I've been oh, for a minute. So I've done projects, but just never, you know what I'm saying? They come up missing, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And like, they have disagreements with people, and then, you know what I mean? Shit happens, but I mean, that still gives me the freedom to do whatever I want to do with it, because if they mysteriously come up lost and all that, you know what I'm saying? I can still put out that, you know what I'm saying? And it's going to be dope, it's still relevant, you know what I'm saying? So, one thing I wanted to ask you, and I was curious about, was your name Scott LaRock? <laughs> um, Scott LaRock, for the for some of the viewers at home, was um, from my understanding, he was a DJ. He, yeah, he, he was with a uh, yeah. he was with a uh, Pete Rock, right? Scott LaRock was with Pete Rock, his boy that passed away, right? He made that song Troy for Scott LaRock, right? East Coast dude. And you, you, you from the South, Florida, South New Carolina. Mexico, Southwest, South Carolina, South Carolina bread. Um, what, where did you, where did, where did you get the name Scott LaRock from? I mean, it came from a nickname. Like people were just like, I mean, it's, it's a deeper meaning, but it's, it's came with a nickname. I just leave it at that. Okay. You know okay. Okay. And then the moniker that you use, Scott LaRock. Smoking OG by the OZ. Yeah, like the, the the Scott OG, like it's like it's not. It has like a double meaning kind of sort. Of, you know what I'm saying? Cause like I'm older than a lot of these young cats. You know what I'm saying? But my music's still relevant. You know what I'm saying? So Definitely. that that's kind of the one side of the OG part. You know what I'm saying? And I smoke a lot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so it, it, it has a double meaning and it worked like that. And then like by the OZ, like you know what I'm saying? It's self-explanatory. You know what I'm saying? And you put it all together, it's Scott Lorraine, a.k.a. Scott OG, smoking that OG by the OZ. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Y'all look out for my man Scott Lorraine, man. So tell us, uh, we here, if y'all ain't know, we here live on location at Fat Craze Recording Studios. Yeah, it's the crib, man. We here, you know, Scott Rock is one of the artists that uh, do use the facilities. He's made some bangers and got a lot of, you know, heat coming out. Um, what have you been working on lately here? Like, what do you got 
going on right now in the works. We can talk about it. I mean, we can definitely talk about it. We can talk about anything. Yeah, um, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, as far as the projects, I got a self-titled project, which is the Scott OG's Money Not OG by the OZ. And that'll be the first one coming out. It's pretty much done. Um, and then I got Dope Soul, which is like kind of R&B, like, but you know what I'm saying, with a, with a real feel to it, you know what I'm saying, like, just a southern feel to it, you know what I mean, and then Guns N' Roses, which is going to be produced by Draven and uh, Mike, Golden Child, you know what I'm saying, that's what we're going to call it, you know what I'm saying, uh, and then after that, I got a project with my boy Jay Vega I'm working on, we got that pretty much done, we're like six tracks deep with that one. Okay. Um, and then after that, um, hustling a dream, and that's gonna be we shooting for like July. So it's like it's a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like four, five projects in like you know what I'm saying a short time, but most of them pretty much done. So it's pretty much like I'm working on four projects like that I gotta get complete. But two of them are ready. You know what I'm saying? Almost ready to go. But you know what I'm saying? Got Scott Little Rock, and then Dope Soul. Guns and Roses, um, the project me and Jay Vega and the Hustling the Drink. And then no sheets. That's like like real time. Strictly R and B. Like dope soul, guns and roses <laughs> and, and uh and no sheets is R and B, you know what I'm saying? Guns and Roses is more like the good and bad side of like, you know what I'm saying? Like relationship type shit, you know what I'm saying? And then dope soul is just that's what you ride to, and then, and then, um, <laughs> let's see, I said, let me see, Guns N' Roses are dope, so, and then, No Sheets, No Sheets is like, um, like, baby making type shit, you know what Yeah, No like? Sheets, yeah, No Sheets on the bed, man, No Sheets, no sheets man, no Sheets, man, we on top of the sheets, man. <laughs> oh, ain't no sheets. <laughs> sheets is in the dryer. You feel me? I got a song called Fantasy out for that, which is going to be the first single out for that one. And then um, the first single I'm doing in general is Beautiful, yeah. which is dope. Man. I want to talk about that song, man, because I did hear it online, and then I heard, I heard a better version here in the studio, man. Tell us a little bit about the song Beautiful, man. Just the meaning behind it, you know, you know. Who produced it and how you came up with the concept behind the song? It sounds good, like you sound good on the song. Appreciate it. And as far as production wise, you know what I'm saying it was done here at the crib. You know what I'm saying okay. my boy Draven you know oh, okay, came okay. up with the the masterpiece, which is beautiful. You know what I'm saying shout the out concept. to Draven. And shout out to Fat Crazy, shout out to Draven, shout out to you know what I'm saying the whole fam. But um, as far as beautiful, like. I came up with it, I was locked up like for two months in solitary, so you know what I'm saying, I ain't had nothing else to do. You know what I'm saying? So I'm waking up, working out, you know what I'm saying, singing and all that. And like when it's they put you in like the T V for like two hours and shit, like it had this commercial, like this cover girl commercial and they kept talking about makeup and this and all that. Like me, you know what I'm saying, I'm from the South, like most females down there, like, a lot of them wear a lot of makeup, but, you know what I'm saying, it ain't really necessary. You know right, saying? yeah, true. So true, it's true, like, true. you putting all that makeup on for what? You know what I'm right. saying? For somebody else to validate you and be like, oh, you beautiful, you know what I'm saying? But when you take up all that makeup, you know what I'm saying, it's it's a whole different story, bro. Like, I mean, I done woke up, me personally, you know what I'm saying, to females where, like, you look bad in the club, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a video girl, you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. But you wake up in the morning, you know what I'm talking about? You look like, you know what I'm saying, Felicia down the street, you know what I'm yeah. talking about, on Friday, yeah. you know what I'm talking about? We all been there. So it's like, if we you accept, there. but it's a, at the same time, though, it's like, you gotta be, the song, the concept of the song is you gotta accept yourself, right? right. Like you don't need nobody else to validate you and tell you you're beautiful, you know what I'm talking about? That's deep. Like, you don't need, you don't need all the makeup, you don't need all the, the, the cover girl shit, like, Cause in the second verse it's like uh, I say, uh, what do I say? Uh, you ain't gotta be like all them girls you see on the TV or on the cover of magazines. Like our society gives you this picture of like what you gotta be to be beautiful, man. 
it. Like, but True. if you accept yourself, like, you know what I'm saying? That goes vice versa, like, for a man or a woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, me personally, you know what I'm saying? I got big lips, crooked teeth, all that, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I accepted that as a young age, bro. Like, and you can't tell me shit about me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, so already. anybody should feel that same way about them, bro. Like, right. it's just a concept that you should accept yourself and not look for somebody else to validate you. You know what I'm saying? It's directed towards females, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? It's a, a general concept. Everybody relates to it. Yeah, you a very genuine dude, and for that to be a single that you push, you know, not only does it musically sound good, but it does have a good message, and it's very, you know, inspiring. So that's good to, you know, find the meaning and, and hear from you, you know, how you feel and what, you know, to, to create that song. Smoke the weed every day. Don't smoke the seeds. No way. Smoke the weed. Hey. Yo, what's up? It's your boy Boss. We back on Smoke Break. We here live at location at Fat Crate Studios. Scott LaRock. You know what it is. We here. So, during the break, we speaking a little bit about everything. And you're an independent artist, right? So, that's what you said. So, tell us a little bit about your vision. About like what you got planned and where you foresee. Scholar Rock going and what you're trying to make, you know, happen in the next like six months to a year. Well, in the next six months, I got five projects dropping. Um, but as far as like the overall picture, it's just pretty much just putting out good music, um, working with dope artists, dope producers, you know what I'm saying, and coming up with uh, like visuals that's relatable and all that. And you know what I'm saying, just, just coming up with some shit that means something, you know what I'm saying? Not just putting that, you know what I mean? Just whatever, you know what I mean? And having a meaning behind it and just, <clears throat> just have somebody feel something when they listen to it, you know what I'm saying? Because beautiful, like it's directed towards females, but. I played it for you know what I'm saying my partners and they like okay I like that shit I yeah. can ride around with my girl that shit so it's like it goes both sides even if it's directed towards a female you know what I'm saying or if it's directed towards a dude or whatever like that you know what I'm saying it's still gonna be relatable on both sides so I just wanna make <clears throat> I wanna make music that's relatable you know what I mean from something your grandmama can listen to to you know what I'm saying, something your daughter can listen to, your daddy can vibe with, and all that, you know what I'm talking about? So yeah. it's just I wanna make good music, you know what I mean? And work with dope artists and dope producers like I got here, you know what I'm saying? So So with that being said, are you working with any artists or producers locally in the New Mexico area? <clears throat> right now, um I'm working with my boy Jay Vega, uh I got a song um, that we gonna get done and release like soon uh, that I did with my boy Julian. Um, and uh, it's called Withdrawals. Uh, and that's gonna be out soon. So um, I was working with him. Uh, I'm gonna get a song with uh, me and X Ray got a song. Shout out, uh, X Ray. Shout out, Feeds the Gang. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got a song with. Uh, uh, my boy Killer on uh, Leave Me Alone. Um, I got uh, my boy Rocker. Um, who else? Uh, I got a song Free to Make Free. And uh, my girl Monica's gonna be on that. Uh, <clears throat> uh, let's see. It's a lot of people, bro. Like, I mean, anybody that's willing to work, you know what I'm saying, and we, you know what I'm saying, we can get a song done, I'm down. But I mean, everybody I fuck with, like, they, we family, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, um, indeed, indeed. As far as my producers, uh, it's a whole lot of them, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it's not, I can't go wrong either way I go, you know what I'm saying? Whether I go with my boy Koof. Uh, my boy Draven, will I go to Mike, you know what I'm saying, will I go, you know what I'm saying, Demise, whoever, like, 
they you know what I'm saying? They gonna take care of me when shit done. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's always gonna be a dope project regardless of you know what I'm saying? producing it. And you know what I'm saying? I think my shit dope and everybody else, you know what I'm saying? Agree with me for not. You know what I'm so I fuck with it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, you made know, some really, really <clears throat> talented collaborators and producers. Um, the Southwest has a lot of different artists, a lot of different sounds. A lot of different faces and names. Where does Scott LaRock fit in amongst those faces and names? I mean, I really, to be honest with you, I don't fit in. But uh, I'm going to get in where I fit in. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, I say that to say this. Like, I don't fit in because I'm not a rapper. I'm not a singer. You know what I'm saying? I can sing. I can rap. You know what I'm saying? And, And I can put it all together. So I don't consider myself either one. So, right. You got a lot of singers out here, you got a lot of rappers out here, you know what I'm saying? You got a lot you got some people that can do both, you know what I'm saying? Some people that's dope at the shit, but I'm like, but I don't put myself in that, you know what I'm saying, in that box, in that category. So I don't fit in, but at the same time, I can work with anybody, you know what I'm saying? And we can make good music. So, I mean, I definitely can hold my own, you know what I'm saying, with anybody. And you know what I'm saying? So, I'm just trying to make good music with anybody that's down to make good music. You know what I'm saying? For the people that, you know, New Mexicated is, you know, a New Mexico based <clears throat> brand, show, design, everything. We are New Mexico first, Southwest first, um, but we do have a, a, a large span of, of viewers that watch this show on YouTube, you know follow New Mexicated and Fast Life over the internet. Can you tell the people that's not familiar or aware um, about New Mexico, like how is New Mexico being a black man? <laughs> like how, I mean, can you describe the cultural climate and experience of, of you being a black artist and a black man from the South living here in New Mexico? Um, <clears throat> for one, Picante's house is not hot sauce. I'll just say that. <laughs> um, but, like, it ain't really, it ain't, it ain't bad. Like, it's slow, you know what I'm saying? But it, it's just different, you know what I mean? Like, in the South, you got dirt roads, you know what I'm saying? You got, you know what I'm saying, chickens and, like, roosters and cows and all that shit, whatever. But out here... You see coyotes and, and you know what I'm saying, deer and all that other shit out here. But it ain't really no different. You know what I mean? I'm good wherever, wherever I go, like I'm comfortable wherever I'm at. You know what I'm saying? So it's a whole lot different from South Carolina. But um, it ain't bad, bro. Like, you just gotta, you know what I'm saying? My best, my best way of dealing with it is out of sight, out of mind. You know what I'm saying? Because when I'm out there, I'm always in some shit or I'm in some trouble or whatever, so, you know what I mean, it ain't, it ain't no point. If I ain't got to do it, you know what I'm saying, then, then you know what I'm saying, I'm going to just sit down and die so it, play it. <clears throat> it's just like, you just got to, you know what I mean, move accordingly, bro. Like, it ain't, it ain't no different than nowhere else, you know what I mean, you got people everywhere, you know what I mean. Like, as far as the police... Speak on it. <laughs> Yo, know, like I'm not I'm not a fan of the police, but I mean they're necessary to an extent. But the police out here extra as hell, but I'll tell you that for sure. Like it, it just don't make no sense the stupid stuff they do. And it's like y'all they all so extra for the stupidest shit. Like <laughs> You got three, four cops because somebody was speeding. That's the dumbest shit I ever seen. Why Why you got three cop cars for somebody that went 10 miles over the speed limit? That's dumb as fuck. That don't make no sense. And then you sit up here and you arrest people for, you know what I'm saying, for smoking weed. But why? You know what I'm saying? I'm not bothering nobody. I ain't out here shooting nobody. But you go sit here and if you catch me with weed in my car, you know what I'm saying? You gonna arrest me? You gonna put me on probation or some stupid shit like that for what, man? You know what I'm saying I'm not gonna stop smoking, like, So what are you doing? You know what I mean? 
it's dumb ass shit, man. Like just unnecessary shit. And the way I look at it, the the punishment don't fit the crime. Like it's like you get like I was telling you, like when I came up beautiful and I'm in solitary, I'm in solitary confinement for two months for a probation violation. At level three prison for no sense. Like that don't make no sense. Like for what? I'm in solitary confinement with people that, you know what I'm saying, that, that really did shit, you know what I'm talking about? The rape people, you know what I'm saying, the kill people, all shit like that, they going to prison. But I'm in here for a probation violation. Make no damn sense. There's extra shit, you know what I'm talking about? Do you think <clears throat> our current president has given <laughs> the law enforcement the green light to do this shit to people? Because, I mean... This this police brutality and, and overuse of you know force and power that shit been going on forever you know before. Yeah. Man. Do you feel like you know our current president and our current political situation plays a role in that? I mean, I definitely say he don't help the situation because it's like all this police brutality and all this other shit been going on for years, bro, and. Even with all the social media, like somebody gets shot on live, on Facebook live, you know what I'm saying? And, and these police, they don't do shit about it, really. You know what I'm saying? You get them a slap on the wrist for killing somebody. But you lock somebody else up for the rest of their life for killing somebody. But because this man got a gun and a badge, or this female got a gun and a badge, you know what I'm saying? And the majority of them, you know what I'm saying? We just gonna keep it 100 like they've been white, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, if you have that continuously going on, and even with all all the shit on social media, on YouTube, on the news, and all this other shit, and you still not doing nothing about it, like, Trump ain't helping shit, you know what I'm saying? He ain't helping the situation, you know what I'm saying? He definitely not making it no better for nobody. So, it's like, the shit gonna keep going on, and nobody wanna do nothing about it. Like, it's sad that it's, it's cool, or it's accepted, like, okay, you know what I'm saying, if you, if you live in this neighborhood, you know what I'm saying, like, it's okay for you to shoot these people, it's okay, and you, you know what I'm saying, you basically condone that, because you put people in a situation where they gotta sell drugs, they gotta do this, they gotta do that, and some people are like, oh, they don't gotta do that, they can go get a job, they can't, you know what I'm saying, they can do this, they can do that, but everybody can't go out and get a job, because you got people that are willing to work hard, but they got felonies on their record for the stupid choice they made, whether it was, you know what I'm saying, wrong place, wrong time, or they was just, you know what I'm saying, whatever the situation may be. But because that person is a felon, they can't get a good, they can't go get a nine to five. So they're gonna get out and, you know what I'm saying, go back to selling drugs or whatever the fuck they was doing before. You know what I'm saying? And you spend more, and basically what it is, is you make more money off of people going to jail than, you know what I'm saying, than actually going to school and all that other shit. So, that tells you something right there. That you put more money in locking people up than, you know what I'm saying, teaching people to make better choices. Like, you know what I'm saying, you spend more money on jail than you spend on schools. Like, you know what I mean? That's bullshit. And the president we got ain't making it no better. Like, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's basically like this man make it okay to be a dumbass. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't never seen none of these people like, that's been in social media, you ain't see George Bush on MySpace, like, talking about, oh, well, Katrina this and all that other shit, like, you not getting on social media and just doing dumbass shit, like, you the leader of the free world, so, why are you even entertaining shit, why are you on, on Twitter talking about the people kneeling, <clears throat> kneeling is sons of bitches and all this dumbass shit, like, it's a purpose behind them kneeling. You're not doing anything about, you're not concerned about the purpose of them kneeling. You're worried about them kneeling during the national anthem. You don't even know the words of the national anthem. You know what I'm saying? And you've been recorded, like, they playing the national anthem or they, you know what I'm saying, doing the Pledge of Allegiance. You don't put your head across your heart, all this other shit, but you want to, you know what I'm saying, criticize somebody or talk about somebody for kneeling as far as, you know what I'm saying, police brutality and all that shit, but you don't even look at the issue. All you're looking at is, oh, he's unpatriotic. He's disrespectful to the military. When you got soldiers saying, agreeing with this man, 
You know what I'm saying? Some disagree with him, but at the same time, it's like, bro, you're not looking at the issue. You're looking at what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? And you don't know, you know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't pay no attention when they're doing the Pledge of Allegiance or the single national anthem. You don't put your hand across your heart. You don't even know words to the song. None of that shit. But you want to talk about a man being un unpatriotic. Like, for what? Like, that stupid shit, man. Do you feel like in today's society, black artists, and black entrepreneurs, athletes, and you know, a black a black person with a voice is a target? I mean, I say yeah, because when you get to a certain point, like, they're gonna come after you. You know what I'm saying? For no reason, like and they don't, you know what I'm saying, you can you could be walking your dog, you know what I'm saying, you could be minding your own business. You know what I'm saying? And they want you, they're gonna come, come they gonna come get you. So it really don't matter. You know what I mean? Like, you always a target being black regardless whether you an artist, whether you, you know what I'm saying, a regular person on the street, man. Right? Like, it's crazy, like, I can walk down the street minding my own business and some old white lady or some old Mexican lady gonna cross the street completely just because she see me walking. You know what I'm saying? That's stupid. I ain't finna do nothing to you, I already know you. I ain't finna bother you. But because I'm black. I got a hoodie on, and I look like I'm scary, all this other shit. Bitch, it's cold. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Dumbass shit. So are we going to hear these type of themes? Do you do you express these type of things and these type of um, cultural events and social I mean, things I got some, like, as far as, like, politically, like, freedom ain't free is, like, the only one, like, as far as political, you know what I'm saying, that's talking about that, but, um, I got a lot of songs that, you know what I'm saying, you would be related to, you know what I'm saying, that deal with social issues, you know what I'm saying, and, and just touches all basic, you know what I'm saying. Because Freedom Ain't Free, I'm going to have my own girl Monica on the hook, you know what I'm saying, for that. And, you know what I'm saying, that's definitely going to be dope, you know what I mean? And it's definitely touching a lot of, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> a lot of issues, man. You know what I mean? Yes, sir, you definitely are a versatile artist, so I know that you're going to have a lot of flavors on your album, on your on your albums coming up. You said six months, five projects, so y'all look out for Scott LaRock. Scott LaRock, the OG by the OZ, that's the first one? What's the nah. first one? My bad, y'all. My boy Draven always messes shit up, but it's cool. <laughs> My bad, y'all. I'm only one nah, nigga, man. It's cool, though. You know what I'm saying? But it's Scott LaRock, a.k.a. Scott OG, smoking that OG by the OZ. Okay. Like, Scott LaRock, a.k.a. Scott OG, smoking, smoking that, that OG, OG by the OZ. Yeah. That's the first project coming out, right? Yeah, that's it. And what, what's going to be on there? What we... Um, I got, as far as that, ugh, it's a lot of songs. Um, I got my intro. Uh, which was produced by Koof. That's the one I let you listen to. Shout out to Koof, man. Uh, Shout out yeah, to Koof. Koof. Holla at me, bro. Holla, Koof. Holla at um, me, Koof. But yeah, Koof did that one. And um, he also produced Fantasy. I don't know if I'm going to put that on the or okay. no sheets. But um, like, as far as that one, um, I got my intro, All I Know, uh, Grown Now. Um, Southern State of Mind, and it's just a bunch of different stuff, but that one's pretty much done, though. So, that one will be done, like, hopefully by the end of the month. Hitting all streaming platforms, everything? Um, that's, that's what we're doing. That's what we're definitely shooting. For. Put everything out on every streaming platform, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, Beautiful is definitely the first one coming out, but all my music is definitely going to be on Apple Music, Spotify, and everything, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much. And stream nowadays. So, okay, okay. Do you yeah. got any music out right now that's available? Um, right right now, streaming and downloading? Right now, we're working on getting Beautiful put out and uh, Withdrawals put out. Okay. Um, I got a couple songs uh, with my boy Jay Vega we about to put out. Okay. Um, uh, what's it called? Lie to You and I can't think of that song, but um, my boy Roots. He produced those two, um, and Coop did those two beats. Uh, I got a lot of shit work that I'm, that I'm working on, so 
it's gonna be a lot of shit coming, but it's gonna be worth it, you know what I'm saying? Any shout outs? Um, shout out uh, my boy X-Ray LSA, the whole Feezy gang. Uh, my boy Legend, my nigga Killer, uh, my nigga Rocker, uh, my boy Kid Rich, uh, my little sis Ray Ray. Uh, it's a lot of people, man. Like, if I fuck with you, I fuck with you. You already know what it is, man. And to man. Where can we reach you at? Uh, right now, um, as far as social media, uh, I need to look at my shit. I ain't gonna look at my shit now. I ain't gonna look at my shit now. But, on, uh, hit my nigga up. We loading it up right now. Y'all bear with us. You know what I'm saying? We out here. I'm gonna make sure I get out of right. This is my Snapchat. I'm gonna make sure I get out of right one, though. Okay. On well, my Snapchat is uh, Mr. All I Know. And um, you look. It's uh, Mr. I Don't Give a Fuck 843. That's the, that's the name you look at on my name. Okay. My Instagram is uh, Scott Rock 843. Uh, and right now, everything's gonna be Scott the Rock 843. So when I get my Spotify back up and I get everything else up and running, like it's gonna be Scott the Rock 843. You know what I'm saying? But my Snapchat is Mr. I Don't Give a Fuck 843. So that's how we end up. Okay, okay. It's a pleasure to have you on the show. Got a lot of good music coming out. Very, very entertaining. Very, very cool guy, man. I, like I said, I've been. Following you on, on Facebook for a little while, yeah, so man, like, I, I know you to speak. I, I seen that shit earlier. Yeah, and I was so, looking at that, and I was like, we've been friends on Facebook for a minute, bro. Yeah, so I've been I've been tapped in, man. Yeah, so yeah, so you you know, genuine dude, man. Very very strong opinions, and you know, I'm looking forward to hearing what you got. Very 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 passionate about the Southwest love and collaborating and standing up and making your way and also putting on for the scene. You know, we oh, appreciate yeah. Shout that. out my boy Larry Pack, Larry Ocean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, uh, and if I forgot anybody, like, I'm just, I can't think of nobody right now, but if I fuck with you, I fuck with you, I already know what it is. You know what I'm saying? But, um, Sir. But yeah, we definitely got a lot of shit coming on, bro. Like, y'all just need to stay tuned. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be the first, not the last, but, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna get it in though. We out here, New Mexicated. I'm Fast Life Boss. Shout out to Fast Life Music Family. Shout out to the New Mexicated family. If you wanna get interviewed by me, be on the show. Holla at my boy Elgato at New Mexicated or DJ Sonic 336 Southwest. We fuck with y'all. We love y'all. Look out for Scott Larat. We gonna get y'all later. Y'all fuck with us. We out. Yeah. It's your boy Fast Life Boss. It's your boy Fast Life Boss. We on here. It's your boy Fast Life Boss. We here with another New Mexicated freestyle session. We live in location at Fat Crate Studios. I got motherfucking Scott Rock up in here. We ain't gonna say too much. We just gonna let my man do his thing. Yeah. See, I'm that young southern nigga That plenty of niggas love to hate And underestimate Instead of congratulate They often try to imitate But they forget one thing Man, young and a wonderful kind See, I've been southwest living for a minute But I'm still stuck in that southern state of mind Mississippi, Ball, Carolina raised But I stay higher than the Georgia Pine And I stay on that hustle Boy, I stay on that grind And I die about me and mine Ain't no win between Ain't no either or That's the bottom line yeah. Yeah. Look out for the motherfucking single Beautiful. It's coming soon. Also, Scott LeVar, aka Scott OG, smoking on that OG by the OZ. Coming soon. Fat motherfucking crates.com. I'm your boy Fast Like Boss. At New Mexicated, at Fast Life Apparel, at Fast Life Boss. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, man. Go ahead, cook it up for him, man. Go ahead. I put that on my hammer back on the shelf, but I'm still whipping yes. it. Got 16 jumping out the booth like I'm still in that kitchen. Mm. Y'all ain't fucking with it. It's New Mexican and fat crazy, so we in this bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah, shout out to motherfucking El Gato, my nigga Pana, domesticated dick, the whole motherfucking 575 hatch, what it do? It's your boy. It's your boy, man. Fuck me.